Plus, as well as saying three guys are coming back to Fort Sonora's Fort 6 was a bit of a challenge. Now, the last time I tackled all crossing was over a year ago, and I must say I am absolutely awful at it. Admittedly, having a rather nice vehicle like this Ferrari 250 GTO tuned to A Class, specifically for autocrossing, does help in getting a half decent run, but I still am absolutely awful at it. And I like autocross because it's very technical, very demanding, but I also don't like it just because I can't physically do it for the life of me and get a run where I don't have to use rewind is ridiculously difficult for me. But you can have these perfectly tuned, perfectly balanced, ridiculous, like 1.4G pulling, top of the line, specifically designed time attack vehicles. Or, you would have vehicles from Santa that aren't exactly that well suited for this, but are actually pretty good. For instance, this Dodge Charger SRT8. Not exactly the vehicle you would think of when it comes to autocross. It's a big American brick that from standard doesn't exactly handle particularly well. But once you upgrade to A class and put max handling parts on it, it's actually quite nice. I would argue it's better than the Ferrari handling wise. It's not fast around the track, but I would argue it's better than my personal handling preferences. And yeah, this got me thinking. If I can build a Dodge which is notorious for him being unable to make a corner to do well in autocross. Can I build something that Des can do autocross that's just that little bit crazier? There are many vehicles I could choose for this. The Gurkha, the LM002, the Escalade, or some other vehicles. But I decided, well, go big or go home. And I chose Cadillac limo. Now this right now I'm driving a standard um, E-Class and it's front wheel drive, weighs a couple tons and is well longer than most houses but I thought that this would be the perfect vehicle to see if I could build an autocross car with and yeah so I set out in building this vehicle and this is the result. Okay so, first things first, um, yeah, remove the setup file, um, so I'm gonna put some good old race tires on it. I have to keep it front wheel drive, put 285s on the front is actually pretty good, and 285s on the rear it is not too shabby. I mean, we need to build this up to A class, so we're gonna put as many handling parts on it as possible. And see, the problem is it weighs 5,000 pounds. And although you may think that's a lot, it's actually not that much considering um, the size of the vehicle. It's actually quite remarkable how little this weighs for the size of the vehicle. But we're just going to shove every single bit on, even this, yes, because I have a sneaky suspicion that we're going to need to do an engine swap. So we're just going to shove all this part of stuff on and then see what engine we can get, hopefully. It won't be too stupidly powerful, so I can have some form of control. Thank you. I missed the Horizon 3 um, store where you can actually, you know, buy stuff immediately. Or not, or you don't have to buy stuff immediately, you can just put parts on and buy it later. Because this, I forget how slow these menus are without the shopping cart list, which is a lifesaver. I hope they continue that for the rest of the Force franchise. Now, if you want the roll cage, that does add another 200 pounds. We do get to take 1,200 pounds out, but we're still 2 tons. Which is not good, and we're only in C-Class, so engine swap time. 5.7 liter V8, not a C-Class. 5.2 liter V10. Oh dear. <coughs> I have a racing engine. I have a racing engine. This is a great idea. Let's see if we can get some weight out this way. There we go. They look ugly, but gets us to the top of the A class. Right, there has to be better ones. There has there has to be better ones. There we go. I'll take I'll take it. Those look a lot better. I am very scared right now. We have 900 horsepower, 4,500 pounds, and front wheel drive. What could possibly go wrong? 
Alright, now this first run, we are just going to do the entire lap. Nothing more, nothing less, no matter how many barrels we hit. We're just going to do a test, alright? See how many barrels we hit with the 900 horsepower limo. We only need a win. We just need to survive the course. That's all I ask. We'll spend four days. Oh, understeer. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I, I can imagine we're heating the front tires up a lot, so we should not have any problems pulling tires. Ugh. And the challenge, the charger, sorry, the charger was doing 98 down that straight, that straightish way. So that's just how slow this vehicle is, thanks to the tire sizes and the amount of power we have. Mm. Come on, brakes. No! Oh, I, I overtook that way too much. <laughs> I, I carry too much speed. Come on. Oh, that's just a stupid mistake. Come on. I was doing so well at the start and everything's falling apart. How did I make that gate? I have no idea. Are, are the gates... Oh, I got wheels in. Oh, crap. <laughs> Just wheel spin all the way down. Straight away is fine. Mm. It's fine. The gate... I, I, hit, I hit it, but I didn't. But the front of the vehicle did not hit it, so therefore it counts. That's only a fourth so oh god, understeer. We have yet to get out of second gear thanks to that NASCAR engine. No break. Oh, I didn't get that. Crap. Since the NASCAR engine has such long gears, we never actually get out of second on this entire track. I don't think, unless down that main straightaway. Well, we're not doing good this first sec, this first run. We yeah, have, what, 10 barrels almost, probably? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't kept track, oddly enough. We're having a three minute run, which is not good, and then we have a nice, nice, fun, tight, twisty bit here. Because, of course we do. Which, it actually isn't too bad if you manage to throw. Come on! Well, it wasn't the worst run I've ever had. <laughs> I must say, this is surprisingly easy to drive, considering the sheer amount of power. Alright, here we go. NASCAR limo. On an all across course. Let's not hit anything. Oh, well, there it goes. Well, there goes my not hitting anything. I do actually want to get a clean run on this. That's my goal is just to get a clean run. Nothing more, nothing less. But I kind of, I don't want to be cowardly. I don't want to be cowardly. So, I'm going to try and get a clean run. That should have made it. But I don't want to be like, oh, I'm just going to coast my way through half of these corners. No. Because I will get a clean run, but it'll be boring. And who wants that when you have a 900 horsepower limo? That's front wheel drive, I'm not making that. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. <sighs> it's quite a difficult thing, isn't it? The limo. I mean, we do get the tires nice and warm right at the very beginning, which is nice. Uh, let's try not to get too much wheel spin. I know that's saying something from a thousand, from 900 horsepower when it's front wheels, but still. It's an objective. It's not a very likely objective, but it's a objective. Brake. No, 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 no. Oh, for God. I, I need a brake so much earlier. I just need to remember brake early, brake often. That's going to be a general rule. If you see a coast, break. If you see a... <sighs> this is very difficult. <laughs> I need to break earlier on everything, pretty much. Like, here you carry... You, you're not... This vehicle has good brakes. I got... I'm not sure if it was luck or skill on that first run that got me so far. Or got me on this first section. 
but yeah, it's just not going well. I can technically make that, but I already screwed up, so that's not making any objective. Slow and steady wins the race. There's no penalty in doing that. Break early, break hard, and break often. Doing good. Haven't hit anything yet. Is how I'm getting under here? No! Ugh. I, I couldn't correct it in time. There you go. Nice and controlled. Slow it on down. Nice and easy. Lots of wheel spin. Brakes, 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 brakes! I got an understeer, I got an understeer, I got an understeer, I got an understeer! Okay, so, I need to focus. Get in the zone. Ah! I may have passed the barrel doom, come on. Back on the track, I don't know here. Never made it this far, it was cleanly anyway. Yes! Oh! Holy crap! Jesus Christ! Oh, I was so laser focused there! Good God! Ugh! Oh. Sorry that I wasn't really talking there, I was just so focused! Oh, ugh! Oh. I made the tune, thank you very much! Yes, I like it! Ugh! Oh. Oh god, that, that was a struggle and a half, good god, <laughs> oh, I did it though, I did it, I took the limo across the route, across the all across course, without hitting a barrel, oh, finally, I got ridiculously close, I think my heart stopped every once in a while down that course, but, oh, that, 
was difficult. It took me 25 minutes to get that done for that successful run. I didn't even win. <laughs> but I won in my own way. Good God. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Well, it is possible to take a 900 horsepower front wheel drive limo down an auto cross course. It's bloody difficult. But you can make it down the course successfully. Is it really a good idea? Not really. Will it win? Heck no. Is it practical? Absolutely not. But is it a heck of a challenge? Absolutely. That was ridiculously tough. <laughs> but that is it for this episode of Force and Motorsports. We'll be back with more.